Hi guys, my name is Hamada. I'm a computer engineering student in UK and today we are going to see how we can insert a node in a position, in a specific position, in this case the second position of a single linked list in Java. So the idea is once we have created a single linked list in Java as we have seen in the last videos uh, we are going to add a new node, but in this case, we are going to insert the node in the middle or in a specific position of the linked list. Let's see first the diagram. So, as you can see, the idea is basic. We, once we have single linked list, we insert a new node in a specific position of the linked list not just to the end of the linked list like as we did in the last video but this time in a specific position any specific position just as instance we're going to insert it at the position number two just after the first element of our single linked list but it can be inserted at any position so let's see how we can code that using, as usual, our Visual Studio Code editor. And going back to our code, the same code as we used the last time, we're going to make specific changes in our code in order to achieve, in order to achieve our our goal so we are going to we're going to comment these two lines of code which are specifically related to our last exercise and we are going to create a new method you can call it method, you can call it function, whatever you want. And we are going to name the method as insert. And it's going to take an argument of type integer, which is going to give us the position. And another argument of type node which is going to contain the specific node. We are going to declare a variable of type node in our integer. We are going to call it P, which is going to be pointed to the head of the linked list. And a variable of type integer called E and we're going to initialize it to zero. Then we're going to make a, a research, you can call it research in our linked list through the, through the loop while. This is gonna help us to go through all the elements, the required elements of our linked list. So, we're going to start from, basically, this line of code says, while the next element of our node is not null and we are still we, we are still not in our specific position p is going to move to the next element of the node and e it's going to be incremented by 1 So once we arrive to our position, our 
wanted position new, or new node it's gonna substitute the P next node And at, the, and at the same time, the penis node is going to substitute the next node of the new node. It seems complicated, but once you practice it in your own computer, you will find it so easy to implement. We're going to change the name of the class because we don't want to be confused with the last class, with the last exercise. And once we change the name of the class, we have to change the name of the, of the file. As you know, in Java, the class has to be named in the same way as the file. I'm going to save it. And let's check one more time which is left oh okay we have to write our new function in the main method so basically we are going to print what our new method is going to do basically it's gonna insert a new node e at the position at index equal to of our linked list And then we are going to call our method and we are going to give him as argument the second position and the new node which is going to take a as argument the data e and the node null function node. Let's try to run it. And as you can see, it works properly. A, B, E, C, and D. And that's it. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. See you in the next video. Bye.